We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today is the day that we're heading back to our property in Portugal. We're so excited. The cats are ready. They've got all their paperwork. We did our PCR test yesterday at Birmingham Airport. So hopefully the results will come in later today. They'll be negative and then we are free to travel. So as you guys can see, we're on the secure lockup and we've got the car and it's full of things that we need to get out of there. So if I open the boot, you can see how ram packed the boot is and the whole car's just completely filled full of our things. There's even our old TV there. But we need to get this oven and the fridge in the car first and then we're gonna have to pack everything around it and then hopefully there's still room for the cats. <laughs> I'm just taking a little breather and sitting in the van because I know what's about to happen. We're about to have a massive game of Tetris in the car, which is gonna be crazy trying to fit everything in. And thank you so much to everyone for being patient with us over the last week. I know we didn't post a video, but we've been running around like headless chickens. It's been crazy, but me and B are just so excited to get back to Portugal. And these videos take a lot of effort to film but also a long time to edit. And I bet you guys didn't know that I used to be a professional video editor and I've been using this app called Film Aura Go for a long while now and I'm so stoked because they've actually sponsored today's video. I shoot a lot of our videos on a GoPro and have access to the clips on my phone so I can import them straight into the Film Aura Go app and start editing straight away. I love the fact that I can add filters to enhance the colour as well as transitions, stickers and select music from over a thousand different royalty free music tracks. You can trim, split, copy, delete, change the volume as well as many other things that you would find in a professional video editor. Adding stickers couldn't be easier, just select the one you like, resize it and you're ready to go. Once you have completed your project, you can export in full resolution and my favourite is the ability to share straight to Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'd love to know what you guys think about Filmora Go, so leave us a comment in this video with the hashtag create with Filmora Go for your chance to win a one year free license and don't forget to click the link in our description to download the app and if you enjoy it, leave them a review in the app store. So remember when I said it was gonna be like a game of Tetris? Well, we've just managed to get the fridge in place and we managed to make it vertical. It literally only just fits, it's touching the ceiling, but that's fine because now we have the footwells, we have a seat that side, we have the boot ready for the oven, which we're hoping will fit just in the boot. And then we have another seat here. So Fernando can come with us, it's good news. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Which way are you going forwards? Down? Yeah. Oh. I think it went the other way this way, didn't it? Yeah. We did it, it was a little bit of a squeeze, but the oven is now in the boot and we've wrapped it in this gorgeous leopard print duvet because this is our pride and joy. Soon we're gonna be cooking on that in our beautiful new home, but we've got lots of soft stuff that we need to like pack around different areas and we're even gonna tie some things to the roof. We did it, we're all packed up. Thanks to Front Runner, we've managed to load loads of stuff onto the roof, which really helped because there's no way it was gonna fit inside. I mean, there's literally that much space now for Fernando to go in his little box 
and B is going to have Gingy on her lap. But I'm going to miss this, our two adventure vehicles, and we're going to have to say bye to the Sprinter, but we will definitely go on an epic adventure next summer in the Beast. And you can see I've just fitted the solar panel so it keeps the battery charged. And now the next job is to cover the wheels. We brought some uh, wheel or tire covers for all of the tires, including the back one here. So we're gonna get them on now and then we're ready to go pick up the cat. negative yeah. <laughs> we're all packed up and ready to go i've just put the tire covers on they're like little dinner jackets it's hilarious but that will protect them from the harsh winter you have here in the uk i can't wait to go on a big adventure in the van again but i'm more excited of getting back to portugal and finishing our brand new home i cannot wait it's going to be incredible also, we did want to get a cover for the whole van to protect it, but the problem is we've got solar on the roof and we've got so many modifications, we couldn't find a cover that would fit. So that will have to do. And right now we're gonna jump in the car and head off to meet my parents who have got the cat. So we just arrived at Webb's garden center and we're waiting for my parents to arrive with Gingy Bear and Fernando. And apparently my mom's just told me that Fernando has broken out of his cat basket. We bought him a new cat basket, which we thought was much nicer because it was soft and it wasn't like a hard case, but unfortunately he's broken out of it. So luckily they did bring a spare cat basket with them. So it's all good. So we are now on the road. Roundabout, take the third exit to merge onto the M3 towards Portsmouth. And on our way to Portsmouth, where we're gonna be staying in a hotel for the night. We found a hotel that will accept our cats, which is always good. But they haven't met Fernando, so there might be an extra cleaning fee. But yeah, we're gonna stay there overnight. It takes the stress off because we sail to Spain fairly early in the morning. I think we have to board the ferry at like 10, 10 a.m. I think or 10 30 a.m. So instead of driving all the way down from Birmingham which would be really stressful at like five in the morning we're gonna stay in a hotel and relax a little bit. So we have just arrived in Portsmouth at the Ibis Hotel and we chose this hotel because they accept animals for an extra fee but also because the car park looked pretty big but actually the car park's completely full but the good people on reception said we can actually park the car on the pavement so that's good because it's secure parking, it's locked overnight and we have all of our belongings like literally that we own with us. I mean, we have everything but the kitchen sink. We have a cooker, a fridge and lots of other things, but I'm not gonna shout that too loudly. And now I'm gonna go and get Gingy Bear because Fernando's already in the room and take her up. I'm sure they're looking forward to getting out of the baskets because they've been in there for about six or seven hours today. I'm 
gonna let Fernando out first because he's the troublemaker. See how he reacts. This is your first time ever staying in a hotel room. See how you get on. I'm sure you're gonna have fun sniffing around. <laughs> you're free to go, you don't have to sit in the basket any longer. <laughs> go on. Yeah. You'll become a good travel cat one day. Straight under the bed. Right, Ginger can come out. looking for the little tray of bits. <laughs> Gingy's straight out. Good girl. He's having a little wander around into the bathroom. Cute little bathroom actually. What are you doing to the towel? But yeah, it's really nice in here. And we have a beautiful view over the car park. I like it. As you can tell, it's the next morning and we didn't really sleep that well last night. It might be that the hotel room smelled of cat poo the whole night because the cats seem to just be going constantly in their litter tray, obviously, not just around the room. But we need to board our ferry really soon. But luckily, this hotel is just down the road, like 10 minute drive from the port. So we're gonna be well on our way to Portugal. I'm still a bit knackered. I didn't film anything last night because I was just basically in bed editing the whole evening and it's not very exciting to watch but we better get a move on because we need to get these cats packed up and ready for travel. Fernando, can you not drink the toilet water? That is not what you should be doing. How is he drinking the toilet water? What are we going to do with you? Silly cat. Silly scoundrel. You've got a whole cup of water here. Look, we're about to board the ferry, just <laughs> chill out. That's better, look. You've got your own water to drink out of on the floor. I forgot to mention. We did get a cheeky Domino's last night and I made sure that I left some so I've got my lunch ready once we get on the ferry. I love how easy and fast this is. Didn't find it. Woo! Ready for the ferry. <laughs> We are nearly at the ferry port. We made sure we left plenty of time so that we'd get here nice and early so we didn't have to stress because it's the worst when you, when you arrive for a big journey like this and you're late and you're trying to catch up with yourselves. But we've got all of our documentation, we've got everything we need, and now hopefully we go through border control super easy. We just got through border control successfully and that's impressive in this day and age because you need like 101 different documents. I can't even list them all to you because there's so many and you have to upload certain things to different government websites at certain times and make sure you have everything ready to go so when you do pull up a passport control everything goes nice and smoothly. We scan the cats and now we are just waiting in a queue ready to board the ferry. Oh, I'm not 
made it into our room on the ferry and we have a nice sea view from our cabin and this time I'm gonna let Gingy Bear out first to have a little roam around and sniff. Well done, you're such a good traveller aren't you? So there we are, we made it onto the ferry. The boat is now moving. I'm really stoked that we've got a window view. And to be honest, it feels a little bit surreal. We're going back. We're going back home. I can't wait. It's been the craziest, hardest time of our lives. The last couple of months has been really tough, but things are looking better. Things are on the up and things can only get better so I'm excited to see what the future holds I'm excited to get back to our home I'm excited to get building again and uh, yeah it as I said it feels surreal it's been nearly two months of living back in the UK and kind of not knowing what the future holds but here we are back on the boat and heading home I don't know what else to say but it it feels quite emotional for me, it really does. And I've got some more editing to do right about now, so I'm just gonna lie on the bed, get some editing done, and enjoy this beautiful view. just come for a little explore around the boat and the weather is absolutely beautiful. We've never actually had a ferry crossing where there's been a lovely sunset and that's happening right now. It's really golden, the light is beautiful, the sea is calm so hopefully this is going to be a really enjoyable crossing. That is a recipe for disaster. I didn't. Sorry, please stop. I didn't feel seasick before I went on that, and now I, my mind and my brain just feels frazzled. I don't even think I can stand up. <laughs> that was a really bad idea, but I had to give it a go. My butt just about fit in it. <laughs> There's no kids here on the playground, so I thought, well, 
I'm a big kid, I'll give it a go. But yeah, I'm just walking now to try and find somewhere to get some nice food for dinner. I've just spotted that on this ferry, there's a pool there and then a hot tub. But unfortunately it's closed, I imagine due to COVID. But how cool would that have been? Sitting in a hot tub, looking over this view. So beautiful. successful I found some food and I went for fish chips and peas it's got to be done I do it every single time we do this crossing backwards and forwards I don't even think I've told you guys where we're going we are going from Portsmouth to Bilbao in Spain and then we have a day drive all the way to Portugal tomorrow would you please vacate your cabin leaving your door open so that the cleaning staff can start the cleaning. We please ask you to respect physical distancing. Good morning everyone, slept like a log. And look at the weather out there, absolutely gorgeous. It was such a calm crossing, which is always really nice. It means that you can get a good night's sleep and you're not rocking and rolling all over the place. And the cats have done so good. It's so much nicer having them in a cabin with us when we traveled over from spain to the uk on the way here they had to stay in the car because there was no pet cabins and never again this was so much nicer to have the cats with us we can see how they're going and if they're a little bit nervous or scared we can make sure they're okay but they've done amazingly and they're actually been like playing with each other a little bit and not being too nasty so that's always a bonus and we're about like 15 minutes away from the port of Bilbao. And then we have a drive all day ahead of us. So it's gonna be a long one, but I'm so excited to get home. So we just made it to the car and there's been an announcement that they're going to do temperature checks. I'm a little bit nervous because you're always rushing down from the cabin making sure that you've got everything, you're carrying heavy stuff, we've got two cats, they don't leave you much time. So I'm really warm and sweating and at the start of the pandemic when we actually travelled over from the UK to Spain on this exact ferry I failed the temperature check and then I had to go through a secondary temperature check and actually I was fine. I knew I was fine but it was just the, the fact that they come around just after, after you've been running around like crazy but fingers crossed we pass, we get through security and then we'll be on our way. We've just passed the temperature test which is amazing so hopefully as soon as we get through security we're free to go. I've literally been sitting here for the last 
five minutes trying to cool myself down because I was sweating from carrying everything from the room to the car, but it looks like we've done it. running a little bit behind schedule because the ferry arrived about an hour late into the port of Bilbao but also we had to wait once we were in our vehicle on the ferry for about an hour because there must have been some sort of complication or maybe it was just that's how long it took to take the temperature of everybody but it's fine we're making good time now and our plan is to be on our property in central Portugal before it's dark tonight so fingers crossed we're not planning to stop at all really maybe a couple of times just to go to the toilet but we're just going to enjoy the sunshine enjoy the drive and we'll be home soon just decided to pull over in Spain and fill up on fuel before we cross over the border into Portugal because in Spain it's a lot cheaper than Portugal so we're thinking smart thinking ahead and like literally I reckon in the next 20 minutes we will be in Portugal I'm a thousand miles from happiness Thousand miles from you It's a far reach from you to me I feel the time and the space between It's a thousand miles made it back on our land we're both absolutely knackered it's been a long three days but we're finally here and it's as beautiful as I remember oh I can breathe a sigh of relief right now the drive through Portugal as we crossed the border with the golden light was just stunning and really reminded us of why we love Portugal so much and here we are back on the land there's a beautiful sunset I'm sure you can see it behind me and I've went and checked out the barn and it's just I can't wait to move in there we're both eager to get back on with renovating and building the barn out so that we can move in there for Christmas and the cats are loving it they're already running around the land having a great time and exploring and all their old all their old little trails and Gingy's right off over the other side of the land she's having a great time and thank you guys for sticking by us for the hiatus back in the UK but here we are we're back in Portugal and we're we're knackered but we're very excited about what the future holds and thanks for all the incredible support all the kind comments it means the world to us and Make sure you tune in for the next video because things are about to get very exciting. <laughs>